wanted to see a little bit more of how I use this in as the basis for other paintings. So I'll come in and when I'm feeling not very creative, I'll just do a little frame breaks and soothing swatches, just move color around without really thinking. It's a great way to get into like a meditative state without having to feel creative. So it's just of you wanted to see more of how I take just a little creative meditation that has no structure, no meaning, just the colors fall where they may and turn it into something else. So this is an example. Um, this was just me playing with color. So I did the background on one day and then I came back and I just did some journaling for myself super crazy messy. So I was just moving color around and then I actually put some like string and then I put color on top of that and let it dry and then I peeled away the string. But you could see I came back another time and I was starting to find like little faces and starting to put little faces in there. And so at some point I'll come back and I'll fill in those little faces and I'll like paint them. was just a totally blank page and one day I was not feeling creative and I knew that color and everything would make me feel better so I did these little flowers just just having fun and then I came in afterwards you know like a week after or something and then I started um, creating this girl and, and I'll show you which one I did yesterday that was the same principle This one, um, I did her yesterday, and if you go to my Heartwork Journal um, account, it's just Heartwork Journal on Instagram, you'll actually see how she kind of came to life. So this was just a blue background that didn't have the girl on it at all, and it had been here actually for months. And I hate wasting paint, so if I'm painting something and I didn't, I, I got too much paint or something, I'll just come and just do like wipe it off here, like I'm cleaning my brush and stuff. And then yesterday I was feeling, you know, blue when, when you're breaking up with somebody and when you're going through big life changes, that's pretty common. So this woman came out and she was feeling blue and that helped me, you know, processing everything with the end of the relationship and, and all that stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna actually layer on top of what we did yesterday. And I'll bring this in a little bit. And the inspiration I'm gonna use for today is actually, I found it on my walk. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of doves on my walk and I hadn't been seeing them a lot before. And I've lived in the same place for about almost four years. So immediately I went to looking for what's the symbolic meaning of doves. And of course, they mean love, they mean inner peace, they mean um, soothing and quieting your worried mind, they mean finding renewal in the silence of your mind, which is exactly what I love creativity for. And this kind of just, you know, laying the colors on there, it's perfect for silencing that worried and concerned mind. So we're gonna actually make a little dove and then I'm gonna put some of the words that have meaning to me so that today I can be looking for places where I can create that in my life, even while I'm going through a tumultuous, you know, breakup and, and ending of a relationship. Okay, so I'm gonna just make, with my waterproof pen, a tree limb where our little dub is going to live.
And something I love about organic shapes is they are never perfect. It's totally different from doing like a face because with a face, you know what it's supposed to look like. And organic shapes, they're just, they can be all gnarled and messy and it's totally fine. So I'm adding some little leaves to the limb where our little dove is gonna live or gonna be hanging out. Okay, so now her little feet. And I'm gonna give her a little heart. So there's our little dove, and I'm going to layer the color on top of the dove. So it's really fun to see how colors, especially watercolors, start combining with each other when you start layering them. So my dove actually wasn't white. She was kind of beige. So I'm going to get a little beige color and start filling her in. And and I'm gonna leave her little heart blank. And then I'm not sure this is gonna show up, but we'll see what happens. The yellow of her little beak. And now I'm going to come back and absolutely add to her heart. And there we go. It starts spreading all over the place, which is totally fine. That's nothing to worry about. I love it when those things happen. It's just beautiful. And then we'll add the brown to the tree trunk. And as you're doing this, um, you know, finding the little symbols, the little clues from the universe, like I believe this dove was for me. You can think about, you know, where in your life can you can you either show up like that or you can find clues that that's happening in your life? And I'm going to put some words here so that, so I'll just go through the whole, the whole day reminded of the things that I want to be focused on. And now, of course, we're going to need green for the leaves. And I actually had thought of doing different colored green for the leaves because, you know, trees always have kind of different shades of leaves. But because the background has different colors in it already and the background's watercolor, these colors are going to kind of affect each other because they're both water soluble and they'll end up looking like different shades of green. So it's kind of already perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to load up my brush and I'm using a water brush, a very dirty used up water brush. Um, and a water brush just has water loaded into it already, which is kind of cool. These are great for traveling. Um, so what I'm going to do is in this space, I'm going to put some of the words that really mean something to me from the message that this, I believe this little dove was bringing me. So one of them definitely is love. So I want to show up in the, the ending of my relationship from a place of love. And I'll tell you, oh my gosh, it's been really amazing the way that Joe and I are, are showing up with this. We're really 
we've had some of the best talks that we've ever had lately. It's just been really amazing. Okay, renewal. That's one of the words that I definitely want to focus on. So I like doing different kinds of fonts. So I'll just And this is something I'll be focusing a lot on, especially um, after he, he moves away, on how can I renew my soul? And how, how can I make this next chapter the best one so far? Okay, renewal, calm. That was another um, word that came up when I looked into the significance of, the symbolic significance of doves. So I want to put calm. And let's see, hopefully this one shows up, but if not, I'll know it's in there. Okay, oh, and I see a fellow San Antonio, San Antonian. Hey, hey, Eric. Okay, so what else? Um, I think silence. Silence is one that I want to focus on. And I'm actually going to use a brown because this is kind of dark here. And I think brown will show up a lot with the, the blue in the background. So obviously this little piece of art is not going to be put in a museum or, you know, something that you're going to want to uh, probably post on your website or anything, but that's what I think that artwork journaling is for. It's for you. It's not for anyone else but you. So I'm going to put one more hope, definitely. That's one of the symbolic meanings of a dove, so I'm going to put hope. And I'm going to add one more thing, and then we're going to put some, um, a few little details in there. I'm actually going to add an olive branch because doves a lot of the symbolism has like olive branches and I'm not sure exactly what an olive branches look like but we're just gonna pretend so I'm gonna grab some olivey olive colored green to make these tiny little leaves And right now they may look like globs of color, but they'll dry out and, and look and look good enough. They'll look great. Okay, so you could use a white Sharpie, a water soluble, a water-based Sharpie, which is what you want to use. The only thing is with watercolors, it may not show up very well because they'll start reacting with each other, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. If you were using acrylic as a background, this would totally work because acrylic isn't water soluble. So you could do like little embellishments. And this actually is showing up pretty well. But I'll show you one of my favorite things to do um, when I'm using watercolor.
is actually using a gel pen. So I love gel pens so much and they come in different colors, but white ones are absolutely my favorite. And I'll give her a few little decorative details uh, that she didn't have when I saw the real dove in real life. But I'm gonna give her like a little decorative choker. And then on her, her wings, her beautiful wings that are about to take flight, just like, just like you and me. Okay, so that is today's lesson. Um, it's just taking whenever you have, you know, a creative block or you just need to soothe your soul and you want to stop thinking so much, you can do one of these little brain break creative meditations and then you can come back after it's dry and add to it. And you can go a lot further than I did here. I wanted to keep it simple just in case you guys have, um, are new to creativity. And one of these days, on one of the 30 days, I'm planning on doing a woman's face. So that's going to be a challenge for me to do live. <laughs> so I'm going to have to build up to it. So I hope you guys had fun today. If you do your art and share your art, I'd love it if you would use hashtag heartwork or hashtag heartwork journaling so that I can see your stuff. Or um, a lot of you have been sending me your pieces through direct messages, and I love that. So thank you so much, and I will see you. I can't believe it's already been a week. Um, I will see you tomorrow on day eight of the 30 days of heartwork journaling. Bye, y'all.